Hello and welcome back to my play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Sima Young on Legendary Difficulty. The last time we left off, we had fought our war against the Jin Empire, absolutely smashed them, and then decided to peace out again. So we've had two wars in a row now in two different episodes where we just went to war, took a couple of towns and peaced out immediately. But it worked out pretty well. Uh, we now own the entirety of the uh, northeastern block of land, I suppose, between the uh, the Yellow River, basically, or like above the Yellow River and east of the Yellow River, um, which is nice. That means we now, uh, and we own a couple regions over here and here as well now, but uh, we have a, a very safe uh, position now, which is nice. Of course, we're still allied to Sima Wei to our west as well, although he probably doesn't like us too much anymore. We became the Emperor last, uh, last time too, so we now are the Emperor, although... Why is that not lit up? I feel like that might be another bug, because we are the Emperor. So I don't know what's going on there, but... Weird. Anyway, um, I hope it does add the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does add the 150 points, to be fair. Um, also, the Empress died, and we rejoiced <laughs> in her death. So, you know, that's nice. We have a bunch of buildings to build. I do want to upgrade this. I already exchanged... Uh, no, I didn't. That needs to get exchanged over right now. Um, and I have to, yeah, so this is the thing, we have two of these marketplace buildings, which I didn't even know was possible, but I have now learned that apparently it is. I'm guessing what you have to do is upgrade one of them all the way past the, like, past that point, and then you can build another one, or maybe it's just the AI that can do it, and for some reason there's actually, you know, two dots, because it's, it's possible, but maybe the player can't do it, or maybe they can, I, I don't know, <laughs> what the fuck do I know? Um, I do want to upgrade some towns, especially the towns that have, uh, like these ones that don't have a fourth building yet, because I need to get a garrison in those buildings too. Also, this is a fishing port. I don't think I really want this, but I've only got a single building here right now, so let's just leave it. Plus, I'm upgrading this for the for foreseeable future anyway, so. So yeah, that needs to get upgraded too. Although, that would just be for the research building, to be fair. And that's all my money, would you look at that? Um, I've got loads of shit to build here still. I do want the Confucian Temple here, I believe, so I guess I might as well. Um, we converted that one to the adjacent commandery stuff. Actually, no, we just downgraded it and then converted that thing, yeah. I could upgrade that. Okay, so here, yeah, we want the military infrastructure and we want the Confucian Temple, I think. There's nothing else. I do kind of want the... Um, sorry, not this. That, that one. Yes, the corruption reduction from that, but... I think if we if we have this one already, maybe it's not relevant. Well, I mean, it's still good, obviously, but I think we'll be okay. I could always change my mind later. The thing is, I probably won't be able to... Actually, this is the only one that has requirements. We can actually get all the way up there without requirements. Hmm. Um, it's a pretty big amount of, of um, reduction it does. It's not actually a bad idea. But let's leave it. I could also... Well, no. I was going to say, I could also not build a garrison, but I think in a place like this, where it's all the way in the back here, the, an army could very easily sail over there and fuck me over, so let's not do that. Go on, level up on you. Gonna go there for sure. Um, then, oh, what do we have? We have an army that hasn't moved yet. Right, yeah, you guys are on your way back. To prepare for that war against Sima Jung again. I think I'm, at this point I'm probably allowed to declare war him already. Um, but I'm not going to. I wonder if the Alliance would join in now. Nope, that's a big ol- Oh my god. Sima I fucking hell. Treachery. Oh, I guess they have some kind of um, friendship going or something. Wow. I see how it is. Your current Alliance not good enough for you anymore, huh? Um, we can go for the trade influence, income from commerce and reserve capacity, which is not bad, but it's not insanely good or anything either. This tiny bit of income is pretty meh as well. Uh, that one is pretty decent, but I'd have to go through... Actually, no, I only need to get that one to get this. Here, building up keeps not bad. Character experience is pretty meh. Although I do have a mission to get to level 7 or 8. I think it was 8, actually. It takes a long fucking time to get there. But how, how much is 10% character, character experience going to help? 10% income from industry and unlocking a couple mines. That's not a bad idea. We have a copper mine, do we not? Yes, right here. Which is... Oh yeah, we need artisans for that though. Yeah, it's not... It, we don't have to... like Because what we would unlock is the level 4 building basically. But it's already level 5. We just need to convert it over. That would be great, because that's a big corruption reduction. Like That's the kind of building we need. Look, unfortunately, most of the copper mines are towards the south. 
there's one is this it yeah there's one right there i think there's another one to the east of that or was that one to the west of that there's one over here somewhere i don't quite remember but there's a bunch of there's, a, there's like two of them over here one of them is there and i think one of them is like over here somewhere then there's one over uh wait, get my bearings over here uh which one is it again there's one over here somewhere. There it is, copper mine. There's one all the way up here. Wait, hold on, that's the one I... So yes, there's, there's one there, and there's one over here. Sorry, that's what I was looking for first. I can't see it right now, but there's one over here somewhere. There's quite a few towards the south, anyway. And as far as I'm aware, there's not any more to the north. Maybe around here in the middle. What is the uh, dong? There's an iron mine. Yeah. What is the dong? Okay, well, anyway, so yeah, not a whole lot of mines for us to be had, so I, did, I definitely need to get those artisans at some point. I don't know where we even get the artisans resource. Somewhere, I'm sure. Anyway, we've uh, probably done everything we can do this turn, so... Oh, actually, no, we still gotta choose that, right. <laughs> point is, so I don't really need that uh, upgrade that much. That was what I was going for. Um, I don't need any of the spy shit, I don't care. I should have a look at my spies at some point, though, because I have quite a few of them. Ammunition... This is on oh, movement range. That's actually not bad. I feel like that could be pretty good, actually. I do want to unlock some units, didn't I? Yeah, I unlocked the uh, Onyx Ranger Archer guys now at Onyx Dragons. Probably should put a couple of those in the armies as I planned to do two and two, I believe. I think I still like that idea. Uh, yeah, good units to be unlocked there, too. This whole tree unlocks a whole bunch of good units, but doesn't do much else. Yeah, Retinue upkeep's pretty good later on, but it takes a long time to get there. So I need to get all four of those. I think for the moment, yeah, campaign moving rate is not really a big deal. Do I get good shit on the way? Yeah, shit that helps me in fights. Fuck it, let's start going towards it. We also have 155% now, so we actually only took four turns for that one. And four turns for that one. Six turns for that, which normally takes seven, I think, or eight. So that's good. Um, then there was one more thing I was going to check. Right, yes, the units. I should consider now replacing couple with Onyx... Dragons, which are expensive, but cost 240 per turn instead of 90, so in, uh, upkeep goes up by a lot, so 150 per unit. I have eight or four armies right now, so that's eight units, 150 per unit, is 1,200 bucks of upkeep for a unit that is potentially better, but not like an insane amount better or something. Um, but it does give the suppression bonus, which is really big. Also more ammunition, but... Not actually a huge amount. I need to compare them like that, yeah. The uh, this unit's level two actually no, yeah. No, yeah, we can't compare in any way. So this level this is level two, so there's a slight difference there. This one normally, for example, doesn't have seven, but six ranged attack rate. But anyway, so the ranged attack rate is fifteen. Uh regular damage is from twenty to forty eight, but the armor piercing is from fifty to twenty. So that's a loss of thirty and a gain of twenty eight. And obviously the gain of or the loss of thirty armor piercing is way bigger than losing twenty or gaining twenty eight base damage. Ten extra ammo though, boom speed is re irrelevant. Armor goes down a lot as well, but that is mostly irrelevant. Their melee evasion is insane, but that's mostly irrelevant. All the melee stats are essentially irrelevant. Much more morale, which can be okay, but meh. I think the big thing is, of course, because the firing rate and the ammunition goes up, so they, they the damage is, is lower, but they fire faster and they have more ammo, so it ends up being probably si fairly similar. The main thing is that they have the suppression bonus, which reduces uh, the enemy's speed and attack bonuses and stuff, like they do less damage and all that, which is nice, but is it worth paying 150 per turn for two units for? I don't know, but I can always make that decision later on when I make even more money, for example, so I think for the moment we're okay. What if I were to do this, by the way? 11k income. Nah, not worth it. We need to get this up at some point. And that uh, corruption is going to hit us like a truck as well, so I'll keep an eye on that too. Also, not entirely sure who we're going to be attacking next. Hello? Are you at war with these people over here? Uh, no, I just peaced out with them. Maybe that's not a good idea. Although there's an army right there I could easily attack, but my army is currently in... Also, that would be, I'd be even more treacherous. Oh no, Sima Hui wishes to lead, uh, leave our military alliance. It's falling apart. I don't know who you are, but where where do you, where do you live? Yep, yeah, Sima Hui left, left the alliance of Sima Wei. What? How is it more his alliance than mine? Oh, I guess I jumped into theirs later on, but still. Sima Hui. 
What the fuck? Where's my color? Oh, it's, it's based on wealth right now. How does that fucking work? Why is wealth only I'm red and everyone else is fucking fine? <laughs> How does that work? Uh, also, we have 9.4k income, but we somehow made less money than that. Interesting. Ownership attitude is always useful. Sima Wei still likes us. Sima Ai is actually... Oh, that's down here. Yeah, he's still happy too, but not super happy. Who is this? I can't believe Sima Liang is still alive. There's one or two towns. Diplomatic status. Yeah, so allies and everyone else is fucking grey. Noble support. This place is very unhappy. The rest is okay. I should actually have a look at that. Food. Holy fuck. I never even looked at this yet. Alright. The fucking fingerprint shit. I can't wait for the game to properly release. So I don't have that shit anymore. <laughs> Uh, I know, yeah, we want military- well, unless I don't. Unless I legitimately want to go for the, the corruption reduction, because we can make a lot of money here. For sure. Kinda tempted to- oh my god, this place is really unhappy. Buildings, minus 10. Does this give happiness? No, it gives minus. Yeah, we can't- we can't do that for that reason alone, I think. We need- we need this to balance out the happiness. And, yeah, the other thing would be if we have constant rebellions here and we don't have that building, then it becomes even worse, you know. So let's just, let's just, it's not going to be as good money-wise, but it'll still be alright. This army is about to be fully replenished. In fact, it's completely fully replenished, minus this, someone is, someone has a fucking stubbed their toe or something. We have 240 men in this unit, but someone is slightly wounded. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stubbed their toe. Alright. And we got uh, one billion buildings to look at. Fair enough. Um, See, so yeah, are you at war with these guys? Because I could reach this place right now. My army's a bit dead, but... Are you at war? Yeah, you are. Sima... Oh, wait, no, that's... Yeah, that's Sima Wei, sorry. But I saw a different name there. You're still at war with the other Sima Wei as well. You're at war with Sima Wei, Sima Wei, and Sung Wei. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um... Are you? Who are you, by the way? You're allied to Sima Liang. Okay, actually, I'm getting quite close to Sima Liang. I don't know if I really want to cut down that way yet. Then there's Sima Yu. I think I still want to go to war with Sima Jiang first, to be honest. Should probably prepare for that war again. Which means you need to come back now. I don't know if you were sitting there last term about me moving you, or if you just... I don't know. Either way, let's get you back this way, too. Fucking run! Um, how long is... 16 more turns for that, okay. Right, no, yeah, I was gonna say I could replace those units now, but let's let's do it later. If I'm gonna do it, I'll do it later. I don't, I, there's no reason for me right now to pay 150 more per unit for 8 units. I'd rather just get another full army, that'd be way more useful. Right, upgrade that, although this place already has minus happiness, but... We're relatively close to getting that. I just need to keep towns in, keep armies in towns, and then we're okay. Also, yeah, you can go to this farmland here. As long as this is a garrison, yeah, let's make sure we upgrade this so we can uh, make sure we have a good garrison here to protect ourselves. Yeah, then you can strike on this city in a single turn, probably. And then we can work our way from there, and then we attack someone here, attack someone there, or at least we hold back, basically, against these large armies. Oh my fucking god. Chi Guardsmen, that's his unique unit. One of them. The Chi Crossbowmen are insane as well. 58% melee evasion, or armor even, holy shit. Saber Cow, doesn't, this is a pretty solid army right here, I'm actually kind of scared about that. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's the first Monday of the goddamn month. I don't know if you guys can hear that yet, but you will do soon enough, I'm sure. Fucking an alarm going off. The the a Dutch alarm. Every at twelve o'clock every first Monday of every month. Last episode was a fucking vacuum cleaner, now it's this goddamn alarm. For yeah, for those of you wondering what the fuck that's all about, um we have an alarm in the Netherlands. I'm sure every country has one, but or maybe not every country, but most of them do. Goes off at the uh it's like a it's a making sure that everything still works properly, basically. It goes off um as a test every first Monday of the month at 12 o'clock uh, p.m. well to a.m. not midnight noon um, and it's uh, and then if it if it really go if it goes off at any other time we know we're under attack or some other natural disaster is happening or whatever so that's the reason this needs to get changed over um, to the one that doesn't give spice bonuses wait hold on no I was keeping this this way because it wasn't really a big deal going for that one I remember where is this oh, that's this one right here 
But we... So yeah, we gained 20 or 30 more bucks. No, 50 more bucks from that. And we gained 10 more prestige and more reserve capacity. I'm not really hugely bothered about that stuff, but it does it does actually give me stuff, whereas this one doesn't give me anything. The normal bonus on that is 280 rather than 200. So this one is better if we had the requirements, which we don't. Requirement is in the industry lists. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. It's not really a big deal. Um, I gotta say, surprisingly, it seemed to have only gone off once. Normally it goes off twice. Shit, we're under attack. Ah, take cover! Sorry. Um, okay, there goes all my money. Where's my money, bitch? Yeah, I think we, uh, we did the right thing. Okay. Uh, so you're in position. You're, yeah, always in position. You need to get over there. I think it seriously is uh, a good idea to consider recruiting random dudes and have them field it, essentially. The thing is, I can't really take these people that I currently have in my faction. Who the fuck are you? You're... Quite shit. Although you're also incredibly happy, so this doesn't really matter that much. It will matter once she levels up later on. How are you even in my faction? I don't remember recruiting you. Are you one of those random people that just appeared out of nowhere? Okay, fine. I'll recruit you. You've, uh... You've convinced me. I'm gonna get rid of all the units. I don't want the units. I just want the character sitting in the town for an extra... Oh, no, no, no. For an extra one might per turn. I can't use too many of them because, again, most of my generals are on the brink of fucking death. So I need to make sure that I have some generals in reserve as well. Or at least money in reserve for when they do die, I can replace them. Like, this guy is 58. He's not even the oldest, I don't think. You're... 60... And you're 40, 54, 55 actually, okay. So yeah, we're getting, we're getting up there. Can't be long now. No. For a second I thought he was declaring war on me. He's like, fuck it hell, you gotta be kidding me right now. Very well. Sorry mate, I just wanted to peace with them. You can't expect me to join that war. Oh shit, there's uh, the main army in Dong. Also, I lost my mustering bonus like an idiot. My replenishment is still pretty good, though, so... And I'm not planning on declaring war on them for another couple turns regardless, so... <sighs> oh, they signed peace. They didn't even take that town. What the hell? Harvest Moon Festival, plus 10 noble support, faction-wide. Fuck yeah, I definitely need that for right now. Sweet. Hey, we got trade again. Did you take that? No, you didn't. What else did you take, then? They took something to re-establish trade. I have no idea. Take some other port somewhere? Oh, over here maybe. Did you did you just take this? Is your army oh, fucked? Slightly, but not really. Yeah, I think they just took this. Alright, cool. Uh, and then we're gonna trade all the way through there. To our either our fishing port or all the way over towards this port, I guess. Or maybe even this fishing port or that trade port. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, cool. That's good. That's gonna... Oh yeah, we're increased to 10k income now. Pretty sweet. Definitely is worth recruiting another army. Wow! Bright, concerned, and impeccable. You're not bad, my, my man. My, my boy. That's my boy! Let's upgrade this further, shall we? And that one, please. And nothing. And... That one for corruption. And that one, please. Okay. That leaves me with enough money to... Because I'm sure I've got other things to build too, but I want to get more generals out again. Uh, you need to go all the way over here first of all, so let's keep doing that. Keep trucking along. I do need to upgrade that town too, actually. Is that only 2400? That was cheap as heck. Cheap as heck, son. Okay. Let's see here. I want more generals, but I also seriously should consider recruiting another army, to be honest. And I also... Well, you know what? I should look at my spice, because I haven't done that for ages. Uh, is this any different, or is this the same as always? You're in the Sima Jiang, so you're in Jin Empire. Grand Prince. What a loser. Um... 
Oh no, where's the uh, where's the one that gives you more speed on your cover or something? Ugh, that's going up so slow. <sighs> okay. Interference gives me faster cover, but it's the interference that is currently running or coming up super slow. So I, I want to spend my cover to get more interference, but that's not an option right now. Oh no, never mind. Here you go. Build on the cover network. Yeah, that's the one I want. Yeah, the one that I want. Hopefully they don't have like plus so much point. Yeah, they might do actually. Maybe it's a bit risky. Let's get that up first. Plus six. Okay. Good enough. And then you, because now that should go up a little bit faster. Yeah, eight per turn, which means I can easily do build on the cover network as well. Next turn, if I rem remember, which I likely won't, but that's okay. Uh, you also need to do something like that. So let's do build on the cover network. Commit. And then interference. Yeah, that's fine. Plus two, sure. Now that's going up by 8 per turn, so I can do one more of these. Now we're up to 42 of that, and then 8 of that, so that's going up by 8 per turn. So we can very easily just build undercover network, build undercover network, and then keep increasing this again. You just do, do those two, basically, and speed up your uh, process a lot. Right, that sounds good. So you are replenishing, yeah, we're going to be fully replenished next turn regardless, so that's okay. Regardless. Um... Yeah, I don't think you're necessarily going to go across right now, because I don't... Unless I want to put an army, like, in a ambush stance in this forest or something, and then just put the army, other army right there, and be like, Come and attack my army! And then we just ambush the shit out of them. That's not a bad idea. 100% chance of ambush as well. You know what? Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I do lose my bonus. I guess I'll, I need to wait for my other army to arrive anyway, so while we're waiting for that, let's not do that yet. But it is a good idea. You're going to go across as well. I think we're going to double team on that there. Especially with that army in there. Also a scary army, but not as scary as the other one. Chi Garsman. Um, okay. Where the fuck did that come from? Where'd that go? Where'd that come from? Cut my Joe. Sorry. Uh, let's have a look at characters. Because there was a couple I was thinking of recruiting into faction. You're quite good. Let's just pick you up. Wu Hao looked okay as well. What about you, Jian? You're, uh... I mean, if, you, if it wasn't for the fact that you're maimed, you'd be pretty decent. You are okay, but you're also 49 years old. I don't know how old the, old the guys I just recruited. 35, perfect. Dongmo. You're 42, which is okay. You've got some traits that aren't specifically amazing for you, but, yeah, you're still pretty close to getting there. Fuck it, I'll take you on as well. Take me on. And I'm gonna raise one of these boys. Like they're my own son! Uh, let's get you. Yin Shi. Let's pop you up in here. Yeah, because it's nice I can get rid of those units, because I don't want your, those units anyway. So I can. Like with them, and also. Like with him, because I don't want those units. I guess with Sentinels, because I don't want those units. With them, it's kind of awkward, because these guys are okay. Although, probably I would replace them with uh, either calf, to be fair. And then with you, it's not a problem either, because I don't want those units either. So, also, if you weren't currently on assignments, you would have been perfect, because you're 135 to recruit. That's hella cheap. I can recruit Dong Mo, though. Dong Mo. Yeah, sure. Get you in here, why not? Get rid of those units, because again, I don't want those units. When I actually put him in an army, I'd recruit crossbows anyway. There's just no, uh, there's no scenario ever anymore where I ever would consider recruiting archer militia over crossbows. Crossbows are just so much better. The only potential where I would consider it is if I was playing Liu Bei again, because he gets that militia um, upkeep cost reduction, fifty percent like that. Because then they're thirty, so you can have free archer militia for every crossbow. Like then, it's it's worth considering, but it's still not even necessarily a, a giveaway. Right, so that's going to make this go up by uh, quite a bit faster per turn, which is good. We have currently only one, two, three, four, five, and then when you get in there, six. But when you get in there, we're going to also go on the attack again, so it's kind of difficult to say. I haven't looked at diplomacy for a while. Probably worth considering doing that again sometime soon as well. 
Did you just go into ambush stance over there? What the fuck? Alright. Sima Jung just went to war with this guy over here. Wait, is that him? No, that's Song Wei. This is Sima Wei. Fuck me. The fact that their flag is exactly the same doesn't help either. <laughs> like, what is going on with this faction? Maybe the flag is just a bug. But I doubt it. I don't even know where that faction is. Ah, whatever. Uh, Scoured Earth. Right, we are immediately doing something else. Ooh. A new dynasty. Men or money? There is always a choice that must be made. If one is to achieve greatness, before you lie, two options. Build an army that will be the terror of the known world, or a massive fortune so vast that your land will be the envy of the realm. This mission will have stretching goals with powerful permanent effects. Alright. I want to get my mind up faster, so that immediately makes me want to go for that one. Although wealth would immediately... No, I wouldn't actually upgrade it. Um, both are pretty good. Uh, units, I feel like I could probably do easier, because I have quite a bit of money. Income... We'll probably be just say like get to 15k income per turn i'm like well how am i going to do that do i just get rid of armies that's going to be much more difficult to achieve i think so i'm gonna go for raise armies see what mission i get from that uh recruit and maintain a total of 80 units at the start of any turn well there you go we can do that one immediately in fact we have already done that we get our um we got 75 prestige and plus 10 morale faction wide as a permanent bonus pretty good did i immediately do it yes i did sweet thanks for that Great mission. Our victory will come through military might. To that end, we must begin raising and maintaining a mighty army, then use it to sweep away any who would oppose us. Alright. So how close are we now to getting victorious? Actually, only 191 away. Not bad. Honest. Honesty. Alright, yeah, I like that mission. So yeah, we still have the other mission, though, to become... Oh, shit, I gotta capture the capital. Oh, right, that's probably worth doing new missions of, especially because I got two more people in there. So that's abandoned or aborted. And <laughs> we got another mission to build one. Uh, Fortune and Lions of Sima Way. The wrong one, unfortunately. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, settlement Administration. I think I'm building those right now, so that works out. All right, raise a force. That's what we've literally been doing, so I'll do that as well. And move a character to Liaoxi Toolmaker. We just moved away from there, but I guess I can put someone in there when I raise a force, so that's not a bad idea. All right. In fact, I will raise a force here immediately just to get that over with. Get two births with one stone. Uh, Shi Wei. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's the only last person in the army. Or in the faction. There you go, two missions done. No, oh, only one mission. Oh, right. Two missions done. There you go. Oh, how? Alright. We are also getting awful close to that now. Only 17 more points. Nope. Uh, yes, 17 more points. <laughs> nope, I can't math. Yes, I can. Be more confident. Okay. Uh, we're not attacking just yet. We're going to wait for this army to arrive, but soon, TM. Yeah, you probably are going here. Whoa, shit, you can actually reach. Uh, get in there. <laughs> just before they got to the time, they blocked each other. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I could technically attack next turn, I think, because I can move her over by C. The thing is, I don't really want to besiege that place. Sorry, I had to sneeze there, by the way. Um, I don't know. We'll see what the plan is. I also said I was going to move you over here, but for now, I think I want to get the might up first to get that out of here. Also, an extra 5 prestige when I get that. 5% more campaign movement and movement. Enable scare for all of our faction forces faction wide. Oh my god, that's insane. I didn't even see that yet. And extra 5% melee damage as well. Pretty good, one might say. They might do. They perhaps shouldn't, but they could. It is possible to say that. Those are words that you could make with your mouth. Um right, we upgraded that place. Oh, we upgraded two of our towns. I want okay, we're still doing one more for that other mission, so that's okay. Right, so this is going to have to be mili the uh, military infrastructure, I think. Yeah, I think it's probably worth... There's definitely other buildings I could build there too, but... Uh, and then we've got this place. Let's upgrade this, why not? What else can we do? A little bit more money left over. Let's finally do the fishing port. Single term building, why not? Why not, I ask you? I'm making 12 grand a turn right now. Pretty good. 14 turns left on that. Alright, I was going to look at diplomacy, wasn't I? 
I can't trade. In fact, I have six trade rooms right now, so it doesn't matter. I do have most of my food back, so I guess I could sell food again. Money is no longer really a concern, though. Actually, does anyone want to perhaps become a vassal? You want to become a vassal, maybe. 32. No, I don't want to. I don't want to guarantee autonomy. Autonomy. Nah, I don't want that. I I will, however. Also, how strong are we now comparatively? You're four. Am I one yet? You're five. You're three. So I'm either two or one. I'm two. Jin Empire is still stronger than I am. Stronger. <laughs> um, when is this going up? Two turns. Ugh. Because I was going to say, I, I would consider actually recruiting... Um, sorry. I would consider recruiting another army. Or building another army. But if I do that, and then the... 10% corruption drops. Like, that's gonna cost me, like, three to four grand or something. I'm not, I'm not even... That's, like, the least I expect it to be. If it's better than that, great. If it's not... Also, undercover characters costing me 44 per turn. Alright, get them fired. That's too much. Um, no, it's not. Actually, build some more undercover network, please. And you... Are gonna build some undercover network. Alright, cool. I'm gonna make sure I remember to do that every once in a while. So far, no one's thinking about defecting me yet, which is great. Um, right, yeah, we were looking at diplomacy, selling food, etc. So, see my way. 6.6, .6, probably not gonna get there to anything worth doing, unless selling two food is worth. Eh. Yeah, it's only per, 0.1 per jump. So actually just 85 for a food. I mean, fuck it, why not, right? Although that does take away the option of selling food to him later on, so that's the downside of selling food for such a small amount. Do you need food, perhaps? You have 12 food, so not really. No, you need it even less than the other guy. It's one food worth 1.7 to you? No, it's 1.1. And then 0.1 per... Yeah, no, no. Nope, nope. You are incredibly low on food. You'll fucking hell, yeah, you'll fucking love that. Uh, I'm not bordering you, am I? No, so I can't take any territory off him. Otherwise, I probably definitely could have. But I'm. Uh, there's a couple Jin Empire provinces still in the way. Do you have any ancillaries? Oh, we have a golden ancillary, in fact. How much are these worth to you? 10.4 for a legendary one. Yeah, I'll take it. How much money have you got? Not a whole lot, I can tell. Yeah. Those are some big fucking jumps right there. They stay big though. Um, it's a decent deal. 600 bucks or so. With two items, one of them legendary. Probably have to use that one too, but it's okay. Um, and 622 for 21 food. You're no longer at war with Sima Wei, in fact you're trading with him now. You're uh, a vassal of Sima Ai, so yeah, that's I, I'll be willing to do this trade with you. Also, I'm giving him just... <laughs> I'm giving him one food too little uh, for him to get out of his food deficit. It's <laughs> actually pretty good. Um, okay, there the jump stop of... Wait, so yeah, let's do um, 20 free food. Then up this a little bit more. Is that good? Nope. Fine. 755 plus 2 ancillaries for 20 free food. I've still have way too much food remaining, so that's fine. Although I am, a, again, I'm about to take a couple of pounds from Sima Jong, I suppose. That could suck, but I also am building up some other places, some other things. Right, that's pretty good, although range block chance is kind of shit, so I don't know if I actually like that item necessarily, but it's, you know, it's better than what I'm currently using. Although I lose the instinct, and I gain a rock race block chance, which is completely pointless. I might actually just keep this around and sell it, or trade it if I need to. Um, It gives me 20 more armor, which is nice, but honestly, it isn't that good. It's surprisingly trash, in fact. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it for selling, to be honest. It's, it's kind of meh. It's not worth using. 
I could trade it for a different legendary item. Sure, I would do that, but... Alright, so my 17 per turn. Am I going to get there next turn if I just do not attack? If I just wait with attacking for a bit? I can't recruit any more armies, so we'll see. How many? I have like three, four, five, six, seven, I think. So I... Is it 17? I'd need like three more dudes or something. Something like that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we need nine more, so I'd need... Which means we have, we needed 17, right? So I got eight, so I need one more guy in a town somewhere, I think. Some wars. Oh, that's good. If you move your shit away from here just before I attack you, that'd be grand. Got our settlement administration upgraded. Where was that? Over here. Alright, Confucian Temple's here too. Uh, let's finally upgrade that now, I think. I do want to consider recruiting another army right now, so maybe I shouldn't build up all these things right now. That one's worth upgrading now. That is two. Which means I'll spend all my money and I can't recruit another army. Well, for fuck's sake. Uh, that's okay. Zhang Zhenshu. Eh, nah, you're greedy. Clever. Ooh, clever bitch. Clever girl. Right, where would I want to recruit an army? You're pretty decent. You're not legendary though, like you said before when you, when I hired you. You're like, no, no, I'm definitely legendary. Also, his upkeep is free. Yeah, yeah of course, upkeep is free. Dobby is free. Who the fuck's Wu Chan? It's not him. Um. Yeah, because I also need to consider who likes each other and stuff. Or to recruit stuff in here. The thing is, most of the people that I could recruit are already out in the field. Um, you like Sun Ji Peng. Is Sun Ji Peng any good? She's the one who's nowhere near, right? Yeah, she's nowhere near that, but... The other one is Fan Minning, but she's currently leading an army. He's a general, so yeah, that's the only character... Oh, no, wait, there's, of course, him as well. He's quite good. Already. <laughs> you fucking manipulator boy. Um, I don't know if our relation's any good. Let's pop them in there, which means I recruit, need to recruit two more. They have no relation towards each other whatsoever, that's fine. And then I need a leader. She? she? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Who wants to be the commander here? Probably you, because you got the movement range. Yeah. I'm gonna assume it's you. Fucking others are still well expensive, and he's not high level enough to recruit the other cab yet. Oh shit. These guys have like a golden ring around them. Okay, they're both like level 3 though, so that's okay. Alright, well I could recruit the units. The thing is more that I need to get two more dudes out in the field now, so let's do that first of all. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do you, and I'm gonna have to recruit someone else, unless I run recruit Lady Cheng. 1268 is actually not that bad. Why is that so cheap? Must have insane redeployment re reduction or something. We have so many things over here as well, what the fuck. Right, let's get him out here. We just need to make sure no fucking... No generals of mine die. Uh, you... Yeah, I... Fuck it, let's get rid of both units, doesn't matter. If if generals this turn die, we're kind of inconvenient, but other than that, it's all good. Let's get one in here. Uh, let's recruit someone who I might actually consider using as well. I think there was no one here that I was... Oh yeah, you were okay. You're also a sentinel, which is kind of shit. You were really good if it wasn't for the fact that you were maimed. Kinda destroys you. Eh, you're actually not that insane. You are brilliant. Or no, sorry, you're bright. Damn it. If you are brilliant, you were an insta-recruit. You're still pretty good, though. Does anyone have any items? Oh, to look at a different thing then. Damn it. This one. Yeah, the two of you have got some items, but you're shit because you're greedy, yeah. And you're the worst one of the... yeah, because you've got that. Damn it! So it's between these two. Uh, Bright is not really that great. It's okay, but not really for him. Uh, so I'm gonna recruit Liang Rui... Ryuyu... in here. Yeah, definitely. Nope. 
Alright, that should be 8, but I should do the math. Or was it 8 that I needed, or 10, or 9? It was 9, yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, so yeah, we're good. Next turn we're going to have that shit ready, boy. And I could recruit as much as possible in here as well, I suppose, right now, which isn't much. Be a single unit. Yeah, there's no point doing that right now. Just, it would just take longer to get the replenishment done. I should consider recruiting different kinds of cab, I guess. I would like to get the cataphracts, which aren't even that much more expensive anymore, if you look at that. Would you look at that? Uh, 167 over 133. Yeah, that's not really a big deal. I guess since we took this horse pastures, which I never le never leveled up past f level 3. But, I mean, we only have one anyway, so it's not really like we can get a massive discount regardless. Okay, I think next turn we might actually attack. Next, What did I say? Next turn? Next turn. So let's get you... Uh, do I sail around? Is that faster? Not really. Just get over here. Get over here. Because you're just going to sit there next turn. Yeah, and you're going to go into the ambush right here. 100% chance. So yeah, that's, that's the plan to attack this stuff. Oh, the army over here moved away. They might even move away further because, of course, they just went to war. Can you get there in a single turn? Can you land here in a single turn? I think you can. Let's hope that you can. Kind of rely on that whole fucking strategy to work. I could, however, always sprint her over, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Was that everything this turn? I hope so. See, our um, happiness is going to go away. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Okay, that might be a better opportunity to attack him right now. I did not expect that to happen. It's a random fucking army coming out of nowhere. Hello. In Force Mar or in Marsh Sands too. I mean, if ever there was a chance to attack him... I mean, I can't really send both memories that way regardless, because, you know... Then this army would just come and attack me in the asshole, so... Did we get there? We didn't. We're one short. How did I fucking math that? Like, mesh that, mess that up with the math. Math that up. That's actually pretty good. Uh, stuff. The people come first. Your advisors recommend you serve the people, and that is what you have chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Jin see you this as neglect. They insist you spend more on courtly destruction to keep them entertained. This is what I did last, or I had this one before. Uh, I don't want spirit. Oh yeah, we got there now. Still making 9.7, so yeah, we did go from 12 grand to 9.7, so we lost 2.3 at least, possibly more, because it could have been 12.8 or whatever. Uh, this gives me noble support, which is going to go away soon anyway, the, the difficulties we have with that, so that's not really a big deal. I don't want that. I actually want the wealth anyway, because I want to get the wealth level 2. So I'll become popular. I will contribute. Why can't I just do both? Why can't I do both, Lady Cheng? You're over here? No, that's not you. You're the one in the garrison. Alright, fine. We'll look at that in a minute. Foreign Trespasser. Yeah, I mean, you kind of brought it upon yourself, didn't you, friends? Oof. Wang Bao. Is he like a special dude? I can't see, but I'm assuming he is. Yeah, I mean, look at his resolve. There's no way that he gets that from his abilities. He is a special character as well. Like, like how, how my... Uh, like, this guy is special, basically, is what I mean. Not quite as special as that dude, though. Holy shit. He's pretty good. Cheerful for Shishu. Who's that? That's him. Good timing on getting an extra trade to get your champion stuff up, because that guy's gonna be a fucking murder machine, I imagine. Um... Alright. Alright! Jesus! So you wanna go for... This route, I think. Yeah, sure. Sure, whatever. Uh, yep, upgrade some more buildings. That's all good. We have the money for that right now. I want to get that one up for the adjacent commandery stuff. And I'm not too worried about this. I think I want to spend the money on getting the army done now instead. Not sure if I have enough money for that, but... I can also get rid of all these dudes again. I just need to keep one person in an army or in a town somewhere. That's good enough. So let's just dip, disband most of them. As long as someone somewhere is in a town... So I need to I may need to give one of them, like this one here or something. Who's about to take the trade port back? Oh my god, he's got oh, that, that's that one's the Jin, but well, there were four armies over there from him. Good good thing he's on my side. Our trade is broken again. Oh he lost wait, what how did that happen? You don't he, Oh you're being besieged, that's why. Gotcha. By the Jin Empire. That's a large Jin Empire army, by the way, just so over there in the corner. Impressive. 
Impressive. Um, yeah, let's do the army first. So that was this one. Well, you're gonna stay in the town anyway, so I guess I can get rid of the other ones. I mean, that super low upkeep is really insane. Like, um, salary, I mean. We're making 468. We're lose losing 468 from salary. Which also means that while I was considering stuff like... Um, where was it? Somewhere there's like a uh, upkeep reduction for units or for your generals. Sounds pretty good, but in reality, not actually a big deal for us. Wait, wasn't there one? Maybe there wasn't even one. Never mind. Building upkeep there is, but there's no. Oh, there you go. Character salary. Actually, I think I think we got this one early on, and then it does actually help. But right now, any more would just be pointless, basically. Okay, I don't think I can afford the rest of it, but we can get most of it now, so I guess that's fine. We also have another battle waiting for us, so I might just get it from that anyway. You have explosive shot already, so I, I will actually get two trebuchets for you. And I can't get the cav right now. I would like to get these guys. They are so much better than the Mounted Lancer Militia, and not that much more expensive. So I, I, it is something where I would consider here, to be honest. At least until he gets to level 3, at which point I can recruit better cav anyway. Uh, I better hope you can actually get across here, like sailing and then jumping across on the water. I don't have to actually... That's 92% of my movement right there. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. I have 92% of movement left over. I was say, that makes no sense. Because he, of course, can't actually move away because he's in march stance. So we can just attack that one, no problem. So you're going to go here. And then you're going to go here and... 100% chance ambush. And then we hope that army just tries to attack him and runs into our ambush. Although, I could just 2v1 it as well. Why didn't I consider that? Well, actually, no, yeah, he can't reach right now. I could, I could if I ran, but... That garrison probably is too... Yeah, I wouldn't besiege it anyway. It's, well, I wouldn't attack it anyway. I'd besiege it. There's also the stuff from here. There was an army there, which... I don't know where that's gone now, but... Something to keep in mind, too. It's unfortunate that these three are all actual cities, so I can't just go and take all of them. Also, my food is um, too low to actually afford all three of those towns, I reckon, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, who are you? Sima Liang. What the fuck are you doing over here? Also, you have two vassals, do you not? Three vassals now. Sima Yan all the way down there. One... Okay, that's the one who owns those two towns. And Chinji are in there as well. Okay. So I can expect some more people to join in. And of course he's in an alliance with Sima Yu. Oh fucking hell, for a second I thought he was in an alliance with Sima Wei. I was like, what the fuck? That's me. Did, did Sima Wei leave our alliance and join him? But no, it's that one. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. Let's do it. I hope I don't get any uh, negative bonuses for this, but I'm already super untrustworthy, so even if I did, it wouldn't matter. But as far as I know, there's nothing here. Uh, Sima Wei, Ruan Yi, and Sima Mao like me for it. Uh, all their minor factions don't like me. All of his vassals and Sima Yu doesn't like me. And of course, Sima Jung doesn't really like getting attacked either. Fair enough. Alright, that's actually basically an auto but I'm not going to auto that one. I'm going to fight it, but I'm actually going to cut this episode slightly short because i got to go for a minute. Um, thank you guys for watching. Next time, war with Sima Jung as well, uh, again. Probably not going to peace out immediately this time though. Probably is going to take all of his towns and then peace out in the way that he's dead. So, that's a good peace deal if I've ever seen one. Uh, thank you guys for watching for now. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, that war is going to be unleashing. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.